president controls none of them exclusively. Congress creates the agencies, Congress funds the agencies, Congress conducts oversight over the agencies, and all of the agencies, to the extent that they're doing things that look like law, um, are subject to review in the courts. And so the agencies have other masters beyond the president. Some of the agencies actually aren't subject to um, the same kinds of constraints by the president, even insofar as some of the heads of agencies aren't uh, able to be removed uh, for whatever reason the president wants. It depends on what kind of decision they're changing. If they're talking about, obviously, personnel, they can change immediately. They can change policies that weren't put into law, that, that, um, that those, those kinds of things can be changed quickly. But to the extent that the administration is talking about changing regulations that were put in place in the last administration, that's actually tricky. They have to be able to explain why they're changing, to face the evidence that the agency had in front of it, to explain why they don't agree with it anymore, to explain why they don't agree with their prior position. That, that takes time and some care. The rules and adjudications are the ways that agencies make law, that they do something that you have to follow and on pain of being you know fined or penalized or um, and uh, and then the the guidance documents are more informal documents that kind of just say what the agency's position is sometimes those can look a lot like law and that's when the agency um, might have to be more careful in issuing them you can see some of it but you can't see all of it so at a minimum I would think that you would uh, make regulations.gov a, a frequent stopping point for yourself. You would keep abreast of the White House website on regulatory review. Um, you would look at the Federal Register. The, there are some basic things that you might get interesting stuff out of. And then beyond that, it's hard sometimes to know exactly what's going on or when things are at a preliminary state um, unless you talk, talk to people. It takes so long because a lot of the rules are really complicated and uh, the agency has to do a lot of work not only to bolster the case for the rule but to, um, to offer the uh, proposal that it has for public comment and then to respond to public comments and then now we've also piled on requirements of uh, like I said White House review which can take months or even years. And so uh, it can take a long time to issue a rule, partly because they're complicated, but also partly because we've just layered procedural requirements on them. Not legally. The court if the, is looking at what the agency did and reviewing that in a legal challenge. They're not going to care how many people commented on the rule and what they said, if they just said yes or no. They care about the substance of what people say. They might matter f to Congress. Uh, it might matter to the agency's political leadership to know that a rule has a lot of support, um, but it won't matter legally.